hello there and welcome to my channel if you don't know me my name is Karande, and if you do know me then welcome back this video i'm just discussing i'm breaking down my human design chart so hopefully i can help other people figure out what's going on in their chart but if i'm going to be honest my what i my type my human design type is a manifester they're supposedly the it's only nine percent of manifestors in the world so i feel like my chart will look a lot different but at the end of the day they're all generally calculated the same like does that make sense like each part it means specific thing but i'm explaining to y'all what mine mean and that you know it will help you figure out yours it's youtube videos on it i just wanted to start talking more about this type of stuff so i'm gonna leave a picture on y'all's screen of my chart like a screenshot and overlay it but on my screen i'm looking on my actual computer in real time so i just didn't want to screen record it because there's really no point i can just circle each of the parts i'm talking about but yeah so the only thing they'll need to find your chart if you're interested in making your own the website i use is myhumandesign.com it's free to do they just need your name your first name your birthday and the, you know like the location you were born it's just the same thing if you were trying to find like your astro astrological sign like the um, process to get here but here we go so on the side well first of all you'll see your chart of course it's the human body hard to miss <laughs> with all the weird different shapes and lines coming out of it and we all have arrows next to our head right here and numbers on the side but again that's real real deep i'm not gonna get too into that today because i'm still i just not i just started figuring that stuff out but it's kind of complex we're going to focus on the main body here in the middle and then the stuff on the side and how to read it and what things mean if they're white empty or if they are filled in with lines and connected so i'm not gonna make it too too long but i'm just here to explain it at least a little bit so the on the side you'll see your chart properties and you can click on any underlying words to learn more about it but this website did charge you for some of that stuff honestly i just go search it up <laughs> either on youtube or on google separately somewhere else you know but again here we go so my birthday april 2nd i was born at six in the morning and yeah so astro astrological i'm an aries something i like about human design they take all like not all religions and all perspectives but basically if you look it up i looked it up i ra ura ha i think that's how you pronounce his name i don't want to get it wrong but that's the person who founded this it was in the 1900s like this was more recently he just passed in the 2000s something i don't even think he was that old he was just i guess you know it was just time but yeah he just took it's a lot of stuff but ast astrology the I Ching, like it's like planets astronomy it's so much buddhism like he took a lot of viewpoints and put it all into one so that's why i like about human design it's a wider perspective like i don't like how everything is so narrow-minded i like being open-minded and this human design that's the perfect thing i found and it worked for me and it told me about myself in a way that nobody can read me like like some people can read me like that's real real close to me but when people would try to it'd always be wrong they would be like oh yeah you seem like this and it's like no but this chart i didn't even tell it anything but my birthday name where i was born my life it's like whoa this stuff i didn't even tell people before like it just something that i know that's happened and i just you know ignore it or just keep going because some stuff is just life but anyway let's get back to the chart so let's start with the chart properties on the side honestly this helped me before i even knew like the actual middle part the human design chart with all the shapes and stuff i started with the side and i looked up each separate part so of course my birthday my type is a manifester and they tell you the definition too um there's i believe four or five different types of types in human design like i'm a manifester common one I know it's generator there's projectors there's manifesting generators as well which is a mixture of manifestors and generators and there's reflectors i'm pretty sure that's the five but manifester the fire starter people who are here to get something started for other people to join in on and again um i've given real life examples so you can kind of see maybe how it would relay back to your life if you know from your type but fire starter i'm an aries I'm an older sibling, so those two things right there, I feel like already made me a natural born leader. Not really bossy, but I knew what I wanted, and then when I wanted it, I would go get it. Uh, people always call me determined, assertive. Well, not assertive. They just call me determined, 
and just <laughs> strong-minded really and uh, I've been told people admire that I'm able to just start stuff because it's hard for a lot of people it's hard for me still but it's just something I'm naturally good at so I just learn how to make it less hard but yeah fire started I call it I call myself um the catalyst because we are the catalyst in a lot of things getting stuff started boom 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 and then once a lot of people are on it are like we don't leave it but kind of just get it started so people can be more comfortable with even opening up to getting it started like I mean, or joining in on it. Some people just can't start stuff. That's why manifestors are on this earth. Back in the day, they said manifestors used to be the world leaders and, you know, like high people royalty. That sounds like not trying to my own horn, but just have the brain for it. I already knew that. I can organize stuff. I can lead people. I was a manager from like the age of 18 to something. And it's just like, I, you just know. And then when I saw this, months ago I was like oh how do y'all know because people even some people in my real life they don't see that because they don't want to but this is what I am so strategy every different um type has different strategies they're different strategies mine is informing basically manifestors should inform people even though it may feel like a abort a burden or you don't have to because that's how I always felt like why would I have to tell people what I'm doing but anytime I don't tell people, not what I'm doing, but like what I'm about to do, is so you inform people in your life, the people that you care about or that it will affect. Because for some reason, manifestors, we have a big effect on other people's lives. And I don't like, I try to focus on myself, so it just didn't make sense. It just was a lot of conflicting things going on in my head. I kept trying to adhere to what society says everybody should be doing, what everybody else was doing. No, I am my own person from 9%. But then when you add like the little tweaks and different things each one of us have, it's like everybody's individual. I mean, not even just manifestors. That's how I feel like for everybody on this earth. But back to this. So yes, inform people that we're doing this so they can clear either clear out the way or we can see that direct, directly they're the obstacle and they're going to be a problem. So there's that. And then from there, you either they clear the way you go ahead on or they want to be an obstacle they get the thing it's something called manifestors anger like well when we're not living in our purpose that's a part of this let me let me slow down so <laughs> so from our strategy informing we move down to our authority how we make decisions um emotional i'm an emotional manifester so based on how you based on how i feel so based on how i feel i'm supposed to make decisions and honestly, I figured out that made sense. I would ignore my feelings or I would just say I didn't have feelings for a long time because I didn't want to feel them. And then I would try to work from like logic. I don't have much logic. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm very delusional. So trying to even do that was painful and always chose the wrong decisions because at the end of the day, how I feel is supposed to be the forefront. I didn't know that. I just thought I was supposed to brush that away and just do things because of whatever. But no, if I don't feel right, Every time I didn't feel right and did something, the worst happened. Like, I was like, gosh, like, I didn't want the worst to happen, but damn, obviously I'm not supposed to be doing this. So, from moving through my feelings, I call it the winkle. I feel like, I just know. Once you know your, how you connect with your body in that way, you'll know. But, yeah, I call it trust the wiggle. Every time I feel the wiggle, I'll touch my stomach. Trust the wiggle. Don't do that. Or trust the wiggle. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. And it's been amazing, honestly. It's just crazy how when you listen to your body and you get to know it and get to know yourself, how much things can get better. But anyway, so we go to definition. Those, I believe, are these arrows you'll see next to the head. Um, there's easy flow in your chart. So that's like my both my arrows are pointing to the right. That's easy flow. I mean, some people's arrows point towards each other or point to the left. So... I, honestly, I haven't done much research into that because if I have easy flow, I mean, it just does what it needs to do. I don't really need to. I didn't really have to look into that, honestly. So your profile is also something that's important. When I first started, I only paid attention really to my type, strategy, authority, and my profile. Those are the things that honestly, not the only thing you'll need, but if you want to start with the basics, those four things. So profile, my profile, it's a few profile combinations i'm four out of six or four, i say four out of six but four slash six 
the regal authority figure which again sounds royalty but it's not like if you i look it up on i look mine up on youtube because their profiles they're everywhere like people talk about this stuff it's just less common but the regal authority figure is also another name for the role model slash opportunist so the four role model the six opportunists which again looking at my life makes sense i've always been a role model and opportunist at the end of the day role model in the sense i had three younger sisters i always want to be the big the best biggest sister so they can know they can do whatever they want well if it doesn't i always say if it doesn't harm the greater good but yeah i just want to show people that anything can be done from my younger siblings to my students because i'm a para and we all kind of you know i'm just trying to be a good example a good role model and just showing them even through struggles because I'm pretty young still, and I had to go through a lot. I just don't talk about too much of my problems, but there's a lot I went through. Anything can be done. So, yeah, that's the role model part. I've been doing that my whole life, but again, this came and I was like, whoa, whoa, makes sense, right? Then the six opportunists, people know me. I'm always, they call me Trish from Austin and Alley, like new job, this, new job, that. I want to work for myself, so I've been doing YouTube but like since I was in starting high school, even if nobody was watching, like two people watch and I'd be so happy. I always I started a business in high school. I started businesses as an adult. That's what manifestors honestly do. We're just trying to find the best opportunity and what is best for us. So at the end of the day, four out of six role model opportunists, that's me. And then when I combine them, that's why I started finding my true true power. I'm like, whoa. Combining the role model with the opportunities, I took the opportunity to be a role model on social media. That's why I started doing TikTok harder and actually talking about the stuff I care about. And people were resonating with it. On YouTube, same thing. On Instagram, same thing. Like, anywhere. Again, just interesting. Next, you'll have your incarnation cross area. Everybody, it's like so many of these, honestly. I think it's like 90 <laughs> different things of these. But, again, my, out of the 90 or whatever, whatever. I am the right angle cross attention, which again, made me think back to my life, right angle cross attention. This one, I had to do like a lot of research. I couldn't find it, but search up on Google. YouTube might have it, but I don't know if mine just rare, but it's hard. It was hard to find it. This basically means everything is, I'm saying basically because it's deep, but my power or one of my strengths is I already knew this. I just don't like to do it. I am able to get up under people's skin in a way that makes them uncomfortable so they then decide to grow. Like, I know that. Like, I'll see, I know there's stuff in people that they might not even notice or they know and they just don't know I notice. But, yeah, I'll, like, bring it up or, like, not pick at them, but, like, I don't know. I, my, my life, I always want people to grow, be their best self. So if I notice something and I know they knew better, I kind of would pick at it and then make them think about it. But I don't really try to frustrate people. But again, that could be in my power. Getting just like up underneath people's skin that deserve it. Frustrate them to where they break down and realize where they're wrong at. I know I can do that. I just am a nice person. <laughs> so it's hard. And then we we'll go down underneath the incarnation cross is your not self theme. It's telling you, yeah, you're feeling when you're not living in your purpose or your design or how you're supposed to t for the best the betterment of yourself you know and that is anger again i look back on my life i'm like that makes so much sense all my life people call me hot-headed anger issues and yeah i was mad but when i think about it it was only when i didn't inform people and they either got in my way or they were left behind so then they started getting mad at me but that's not my fault but then again, I learned that by telling people what I'm doing before I do it, or even just warning them, you don't got to like, tell them so you get your, their opinion. I'm warning you, basically. I'd be giving them a warning. So you either move, or if you want to be an obstacle, I will knock you down. Because another manifesto power is being able to... They, that's literally the power of a manifester. Being able to tear down boundaries and walls that nobody else... Like, in ways nobody had thought of. It's another... It's like a creative thing. Manifestors, again, once we get to the middle chart, you'll see. I might do... I might split this in half, honestly. I don't know how long this video is. <laughs> I've been recording. But anyway, so not self theme. Yep, anger. So, yeah, when people... Either people are in my way or I'm my own way by not informing people what I'm doing so they know they got the way. I start getting angry. Angry. Angry and frustrated because it's like... 
why do I even, you know, have to do this? But again, I'm fixing my life so it works best in the flow with my chart. Because at the end of the day, I don't care if people think this is funny or foolish. It's working for me and my life is elevating. <laughs> so you can believe it's funny or foolish if you want to. But I'm believing what I want at the end of the day and live my best life. That's why I like I don't care. I'd learn like I'd, I always didn't care, but fully not caring actually helps. So digestion, a uh, buzzing, nervous touch. Like I think that's when, honestly, I haven't looked into this, but I feel like that has to do with again the authority. Because when I trust the wiggle, I literally can feel it, and I do touch my stomach quite literally. Your strongest sense, inner vision. I already knew this too, but it's interesting just for them to say it all together. My strongest sense, inner vision. I know what I want. I know how to change things about myself to make myself the best person I can be. Even people don't even know. My anxiety, bipolar disorder, OCD, autism, all that combined. I'm not going to say all of it is 100% better, but I literally worked so much in my brain, learned so much, and went in and actually tried to heal that stuff. I still have anxiety, and I still do have bipolar disorder, but again... It doesn't affect me like like it used to affect me 24 7 even into my sleep and dreams now maybe i'll have one bad day out the month and then even in that bad day i'm like okay i understand what this is i understand why i'm feeling this this is fear anxiety again and then i just ground myself so it's just been great the environment um it's just honestly i don't pay attention to this too much but it makes sense because kitchens are honestly where i feel comfortable at and where people do come in and talk to me at but this here say kitchens my environment is a kitchen places that are creative hubs where people can commune whether that's literally a kitchen an art studio or whatever invokes that creativity in you and as a creative person kitchens i do love to be in the kitchen and create and cook and i do i am art like artist in a lot of senses music my art paintings drawings ugc even my videos on tiktok and youtube i consider this all my art so is really eye-opening so again that's the chart properties so i guess i'll do a part two and then yeah with this part but i'm gonna just keep recording it but yeah so if you're thing if you're interested in learning more please stay tuned for the next video and if you like this one make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe so i can you know leave a like comment and subscribe so you can stay in the loop i'll see y'all i don't know how to end my videos i just like if you wanted to like comment subscribe you would have by now i'll see y'all